High Plains Technology Center, turning education and training into workplace success. Oh, back to school, back to school, to prove to dad that I'm not a fool. High Plains Technology Center, education at the speed of business. School is now in session. All right, hope everybody's defrosted out out there. Taylor Burnett, good Wednesday morning, High Plains Technology Center. Before we start with our guest, I want to talk a little bit about what this month is as well. Um, You know, we had Barkley on the past two weeks, but it's also Board Appreciation Month. And I want to take time to recognize our board at High Plains Technology Center. I'm going to give the years that they've actually been on the board and you're going to all probably go, holy cow, because I did. Uh, I knew it was a long time, but I didn't know it was, realize it was this long. Gary Stocking, elder statesman of the board, 33 years. Uh, that's longer than a lot of the staff at High Plains as they've been around, uh, alive, I guess, <laughs> and not necessarily around. Carol Bradley, 30 years. Eric Simmons, 8 years. Lonnie Baggs, 8 years. A coincidence happened there. They both had to kind of run at the same time when that when that happened. And then Jared Drew, the one from out in the Buffalo area, four years. So what people don't understand when it comes to school boards is they need to really take the time with when they start thinking about things because they are the ones that get the brunt of, of, of things a lot of times and they get the calls. But it takes their own money to run, their own time. And we all know time is probably more precious than money. Uh, especially the older you get and the, and the the more you realize that. They volunteer their time, not only for the meetings, but also just around the community, uh, in their areas, and at, at different events that we have on the campus. And it's not just those meetings, like I said. I mean, we do have a lot of events that they come to, and they we do a little legacy awards, um, and they're, they're around all the time. And this is the key, no pay. So not only do they not they spend their own money, but there's no pay involved with this. Um, and the, the other thing that they, they have to do as well is continuing education. Uh, they have points that they have to accrue uh, to be certified, to be able to be on the board and kept up with the board. And that usually is involved during the summer. So they're taking even more time, more of their money. Uh, that they can't be making money uh, and doing that, you know, when it comes to because a lot of these people make money uh, by by working, not by just hanging out, you know, because I know these the couple of them really, really hustle and they like money more than they like anything uh, as well. Not pointing anybody out, but uh, <laughs> lots of hours and they get a, th- th- what they get. They don't get any money, but they get a free monthly dinner at the board meetings, you know, when it comes to. But all of this is really just to be better their communities, better their area, and and it's serving. It's about, ser- you know, I serve on boards, and it's about giving your time, and it is about giving back to your area, and people don't understand that and appreciate that. And I think it's a good time to actually sit there and talk about this openly uh, this morning with things. So they are the salt of the earth. We couldn't do anything without them. They give us freedom. They give us a little bit of uh ability to do what we do um and they they back us and that's what a good board does so i just want to say thank you to our high plains technology center board and as well as the board members that were on there previously because they've been on there a long time as well since the inception so uh and they're getting to understand what it's like to starting a new school kind of like the ones that that did uh way back when in 1980s so having said all that i'm going to introduce my guest He's got he's got a voice for radio and a face for radio as well. So go ahead there. Introduce Good yourself. morning. Yeah. Rodney Ogden here. Rodney Ogden here. <laughs> so it must be that time of year when we have Rodney on the show. We usually have him talk about cars. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Because you're multifaceted. Tell them what you do at the school, those that don't know. I'm the auto instructor. The auto instructor extraordinaire. Uh, the, the shop so cl- You've kept that up from Mr. Turbush. The the shop so clean you can eat off the floor probably, don't you think? We have our moments, but usually. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Turbush was notorious for that. He could, If someone even like walked in there, then when someone was gone, he could tell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not that bad, but you still keep a really, really clean shop. We I try. Give you it's, it's a lot of work to keep it that way. It it totally is, but it's it's so pretty in there, and everything's put in that spot, you know. So we like pretty. I, I no question. That's <laughs> that's our wives don't say that to us. No. But yeah. So when we're talking about auto, we're you know no, one of the things that Rodney.
Rodney gets to do when Rodney's doing, because he does double down on this. The Woodward Rodder Car Show is actually this weekend. Yeah. What a time to have that. So explain a bit, a little bit about that. I'll give the times because I brought this flyer because I know well good that you don't know the times. But I usually wing it. But <laughs> okay. Good thing you got it. But talk a little bit about the car show that we're going to have this weekend. All right. So this weekend we're going to be at the fairgrounds, and we have three buildings rented. We're going to start taking cars, motorcycles, whatever you want to bring Thursday night at 5 till about 8 and then again Friday, Saturday and then Sunday will be gone. So there are I believe 17 classes out there. Wow. That's going to be you know this thing's really taken off. It started at the middle school yeah, with, yes in a gravel parking lot <laughs> and if you have a nice car you know gravel parking lots are not where you want to have your nice car. Um, I think there were six cars there the first time. And Mr. Hughes was one of those. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe two even. I don't know. Yeah. Did he bring one of his dads too? Uh, I, I, I think so. <laughs> but, you know, so that was, what, like four years ago maybe? Maybe four or five. five, yeah. And uh, so last year we had over 160 cars at, at the fairground. So there will be food out there. Uh, you know, live entertainment with Kelly Warwich, the president of the Woodward. So he's going to do a stand-up routine. Yeah, he, okay. or is he going to get up and do the bodybuilding routine? I think it's a combo. <laughs> I really think it is. Please, you know, I'm I'm in. I am all in. I'm maybe supposed to go to Oklahoma City, not anymore. <laughs> but you know, the weather's supposed to be better than what we've had. Uh, of course, it's going to be a balmy 68 to 72 degrees in there. I'm sure. Yeah. So, and that's why it's it's good that it's indoors because you, as a car guy, where yeah. would you want your car? Not outside. Not outside. Not outside. So, but with, they've they've got us to where we're in all three buildings. Uh, we're expecting big things. Even the, the weather's going to be the question mark, but they've really pushed it hard. Uh, our welding program at High Plains has done trophies for the TAP students to give away. And then the Rodders have bought their own trophies for Saturday's deal. Oh, really? So it, it's going to be cool. Is I, it a picture of Kelly or a picture of you on the top um, of the trophy? I don't Or think, Harris or Austin or yeah, some. Nobody wants a picture of Harris. <laughs> Kelly, probably. Me, not either. So. <laughs> no question. <laughs> well, it, it, this is cool because, you know, once again, it's the Woodward Event Center. And if you guys haven't been to it, that – this is built for a car show, honestly. It is. I mean, it, it's it's a cool event to have in there. When you say 160, because last year there were we were only in two buildings. Two buildings. So now three. Right. 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 And it's going to be filled to the rim. We hope. Brim. We hope. Yeah. Um, the participant cars are going to be in the main big building, and what I understand, the host cars, which are rotters and and like, will be in the second building, and then they'll have. Uh, off-road stuff there's got there's guys that's got big dune buggies that are going to be out there and don't quote me on this but most of them don't care if you your little kids climb around on them and stuff especially in those dune buggies those but guys... don't climb on my car <laughs> <It's> gonna... <laughs> are you going to make some signs say no touch no i'll just be sitting there <laughs> hopefully <laughs> which you just sitting there would probably say someone don't don't come near me anyway please please don't <laughs> uh the cool thing is is that those we have a partners in progress at the school as well and uh we nominated this year is the woodward rodders because what they do with our school um what they do with tap and rodney not only is at our school but he's part of this organization as well went to the last meeting as you know that that's all that matters with things it's run by the wildridges though now is what i gather is what kelly was telling me yeah i mean he's the president know, but, no. <laughs> but no it and what they do for our tap program what they do for our school because they're out there they're even they've gotten some scholarships uh available for our school for your class and for right. diesel as well right? auto and diesel both get or have the option of scholarships yeah uh, paid through them and it, that's, so that's pretty cool it's you way know? cool because anytime you're part of an organization that can give back to the community and, right. and help youth to become a gearhead to become a you know a heart a hot rod type of a guy well here's another thing that i haven't really got the word out so you'll be first oh, to oh, hear oh, oh, brand right. new news so 
they have a student class, under 21 class. Okay. And it's $20 to enter. And students are always broke. But if you're my student, a diesel student, a welding student, any student of High Plains or Woodward High or any other school and you want to bring your car, I got the connection. You get him for free. Wow. You hear it here Wednesday morning first. First. That is awesome. That's that's maybe one of the, some of the best breaking news we've had on this show <laughs> ever that I've been doing this. So it is, like I said, the entry fee is $20 a car. We've actually, on our biz side, because we get to run the phones at times, have had some phone calls. $20 for the first car. Five dollars for the additional car. Yep. After that, right? Correct. So, how many are you gonna enter? One. Just one. Yeah. Which one are you gonna enter? Is it a secret still? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> those that don't Whichever know. Whichever one will start, maybe. <laughs> okay. Those that don't know, Rodney has some special special, special cars. So, yeah. I saw your van in there the other day. Is yeah. that your latest purchase? That's not mine. Oh, it's not That's yours. That's actually okay. a student. We're going to try and have it out there. Oh, are you? Yeah. I was a big fan of that because it's, I thought if it's my- It's a sweet van, not just a van. No question. It is. A, <laughs> I always thought if my wife ever, you know, something ever happened to her and I was kidless, I'm living in a van down by the river. I mean, that's step one. You got to have a van, <laughs> then go to the river, and you got it made. I mean, that, so. what more does a guy need? <laughs> Nothing, right? Nothing. We're pretty simple human uh, beings, but I saw that and thought of that. So, those are the listening public. The the show itself is January nineteenth from eight to two thirty, and then January twentieth from ten to three, and the awards are going to be at three o'clock right after that. Yeah, on Saturday, and and when I say Sunday, if the weather's bad, last year they were. We were able to leave our vehicles in there because I think it was raining at the end of it Saturday. It was, yeah. And nobody wanted to get their car out in the rain, so they left it where, left it where we could leave them overnight and get them Sunday morning. It's kind of like our show animals that we've had to do at times back in there. So, yeah, hope, I mean, you know, and the beauty is you're doing this before all the animal poop is going to be in there from the, right. from the stock shows. <laughs> right. Because that's coming up in February as well. How yeah, we all know. It's, it's busy. So that once again, this is a cool thing that, you know, we always, you always hear all the time, man, our community, we don't have anything to do. Nothing to do. So what is the cost to come and sh- to just to hang out? Free. Free. Huh. If you want food, you have to buy your food. We're not going to buy your food. No. And if you want it, maybe if, if someone wants to touch Rodney's car, it might be a $20 bill. Is that, that could be an option, couldn't it? No. Still no. <laughs> <laughs> what I love that, yeah, but those that don't know, Rodney has a lot of cars. That's why I asked which cars he's he's going to uh, put out there. So, yeah, yeah. it's kind of know. exciting. You've got some sweet cars. Thanks. I I, I'm it. I'm a big 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 <laughs> fan of those. So, well, anybody that has time, come out there, and there's no excuses not to. Uh, and it is indoor this year, and it is going to be two days this year, which is what we haven't you know we've been doing, but it'll be in all three buildings, and you can get those kids hooked, and we can they can understand. Hey, what a better place to uh, come out when you're in junior and senior than our programs absolutely start off as a car guy and you won't have money for drugs or alcohol <laughs> <laughs> but what do you what do you do if you're a gun and a car guy you have to i choose. am okay <laughs> you, have to you get choose. a second third job okay and... <laughs> you, you retire from one job yeah. and take another right there you Re- go retire from the fire department yeah. so well, go out there and see. The beauty is, too, is our TAP kids will be out there. They'll be helping out. And I can assure you that they will be lined out in detail as well and organized, uh, knowing how that program rolls. So, uh, And they'll be there to help with everything. And you'll have food. Go and support the programs. Uh, like I said, all of this goes back to the community, and all of this goes back to our, our students as well. So You have something, bring it out. I mean, it doesn't have to be nope. a show car. I mean, Anything with a wheels, an engine. We even had a boat last year that was handmade by Mr. Jones. Oh, and it Coach was beautiful. Jones, yeah, yeah. That is. No so, question. I forgot about that. Uh, bring your stuff. That's a set of skills. That's a it. skill set I don't have. Yeah. Well, it's, and it's probably patience more than anything. Yeah. With that. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks a lot, everybody. Uh, glad to have the weather back, and uh, we will see you next week.